All right, another Droid uh, Droid 2 video here. Uh, this is going to be on how to create a Nandroid backup uh, using Clockwork Mod Recovery System and how to restore it. So um, let me just kind of get into this. First thing you're going to want to do is you got to make sure that your device has root access. So you're going to go into uh, your phone. If you don't have this root access already, please uh, watch my videos on how to root the Droid 2. So you're going to have to have super user, which is this, and you're going to have to have this file right here, which is Droid 2 Bootstrap. So once it's installed and you've already done this steps, just reboot recovery, and we're going to boot up into Clockwork Mod Recovery. So let's just let this thing reboot, and I will show you how to do this. Okay, so we have booted into Clockwork Mod Recovery. Now we're going to scroll here with our uh, volume buttons and we're going to go down to where it says backup and restore and then the best thing to do is select with the uh, enter button down here on your keyboard so select that then it says backup just select that and here we go it's going to create a backup for us um, it does show you how much free space you have which is 7452 megabytes once this backup, this bar goes along the bottom, the backup will be complete. This is called a Nandroid because it's an Android backup. So they call it an Android. Um, it backs up your operating system. It backs up all of your apps. It backs up all of your data. It basically takes a snapshot of your phone and, and it creates a backup for it. It does not back up things like pictures that are on your, uh, your SD card, things like that. But all apps, all passwords... Um, and your operating system it backs up everything on there so when this is done backing up you have a, an Android backup it should be saved by the date it is that you backed it up on and anytime you break a device or you mess things up you can always just go back and enter uh, clockwork mod recovery and restore it so let's just let this thing finish and then I'll show you the procedure for restoring it Alright guys, so as you can see here, it says backed up system, backed up data, which is all your applications, backed up Android security, backed up cache file, uh, didn't back up anything on the external SD card, and now it's generating an MD5 sum. So the MD5 sum is basically something that just makes sure that there's nothing corrupted on the backup. So, our backup has been completed, pretty simple. If you ever need to get into Clockwork Mind Recovery, like I've showed you before from power from the power being off because you you mess something up from the phone being off, you just hold down your power button and R button when you turn the phone on, hold them until you get this screen. If it doesn't work, pull battery, do it again and you'll get the screen. So, you'll be in Clockwork Mind Recovery. So, basically you have a backup now. If you ever wanted to restore this, what you would do is once you get to the screen here, you would just go into uh scroll here again with your volume up and down buttons to the same again backup and restore and then select it with enter scroll down one to restore and select that and there you go that is your file on top sorry if you can't see it uh, it says 2013 February 7th and then has some digits after it so that tells you exactly when you made that backup and if you wanted to restore it you would just hit enter and then you hit yes to restore and it would restore that backup which would be exactly what I already have right now so I'm not going to do it so if we wanted to go back I think let's see here we should be able to hit let's see I'm not sure on this one delete yeah the delete key down here gets you to go back so um, that's it guys that's how to make an Android backup if you want to restore it you can restore it from there too also and then when you're done just go ahead and reboot system by hitting enter on the reboot system now button so there you go that is it that's an android backup using clockwork mod recovery for the droid 2 uh, i hope you like this little tutorial and as always please check out the four links in the four corners a lot of good information there and uh, we will catch you guys next time thanks for watching